What is going on guys? It's your boy Void here and today I brought out the Christmas sweater. It's Christmas or at least it's December so basically anytime after Thanksgiving we are allowed to celebrate Christmas. So I got my my Texans Christmas sweater. Very excited about it. Today we are talking about a company that I had a lot of fun with and I was able to intern there my freshman summer, so the summer after my freshman year, and it is just such a great company that I had to make a video about them because frankly, it doesn't get talked about enough. This program doesn't get as much light as other freshman sophomore programs such as like Microsoft Explore, Facebook University, uh, those kind of things but it's such a great program. The program we're talking about today is the EA Pathfinder Internship Program. Basically, if you don't know what that program is, um, if you don't know what EA is, well, that means you probably don't play games and maybe it wouldn't be the best fit. If you don't know what EA is, it's Electronic Arts and they're, they make games like the sports games like FIFA, Madden, but they also make a bunch of other different types of games. Uh, they make a lot of the Star Wars games. They make a lot of like Plants vs. Zombies, some mobile games, some Sims. They have a lot of different games. Now, the program itself is for freshmen and sophomores who are enrolled in four-year university programs who have demonstrated leadership uh, skills or at least potential leadership skills. This person should be enrolled in either a BA or a BS in a technical discipline. So that's gonna be your data science, your IT, your MIS, your computer science, your math, a bunch of different fields. If you can argue that it's STEM then, or technical, then you should be able to be eligible to apply. It does have uh, preference to those who are low income, minorities, underrepresented groups in tech. Um, to really get you started to help you out because a lot of these underrepresented groups have a lot of difficulties, more obstacles, and it's just harder. Like you don't come in with as many connections. You come in not knowing as much from maybe a school that didn't teach you a lot. So you cruise through high school thinking everything is great. You're like really smart, but then you get to college and you realize like, man, my high school didn't teach me anything okay sorry that was a little bit of a vent but anyways so now that i've told you guys a little bit about what the program actually is um and i will say that my not my information comes from about four years ago so maybe some things have changed but i think the basis of the program is still the same the way i got the first interview initially was not just applying online because i don't think it would have made it past because my resume was not that great at that point in time but they were doing a tour of the Austin EA campus and I signed up to go to the tour. And there I was able to meet a recruiter and I was able to talk to them a good amount throughout the tour. And it, that really just helped me out so much because I didn't have any network, I didn't know anybody and that was my first time like networking. So once I networked a little, I was able to email back and forth they asked me to do an initial interview, which really wasn't too much of an interview. It was more like a conversation, as most interviews should be anyways. But it was a 15 minute like phone conversation about like what the program is, what are your strengths, what do you like to do? And for me, it went fairly natural because I like to play games. I didn't have to lie about anything like, all I had to talk about what is what was on my resume, the program, any questions I had, and my interests, which were games, and still are. But yeah, so it was very natural for me to talk about. Um, my favorite games are not EA games. I'm sorry, EA, they aren't. But I do play some of them. I love Mass Effect. So that first interview, I don't think they're looking for a whole lot. Um, I do think they're looking for a match though in the sense that you should like at least like games or know about games or something because you need to at least like what you're working on. The second round, I heard about this maybe a week to two weeks after I did my first interview, but the second round was a 30 minute phone call with, a, with one person and then 30 minutes with another person. 
both of those people from the same overarching team though. For the first one, I ended up getting someone from, I think it was IT security. And they interviewed me, they asked me a lot of questions about my resume, they asked me to tell them about a time I worked with a team, they asked, there was a lot of like more general questions to figure out your character. Because as a freshman, sophomore, you might not be the most, like you might not have the most technical skills at that time, but I believe that they think that as long as you have good character, the technical skills can be learned. Then I had another 30 minute interview and that one was more or less the same. Neither of these were technical in any sense. They just asked me questions. But the Pathfinder internship has both SWEs and PM interns and I was interviewing for a PM role. So it was mostly about my personality, my character, and a little bit about planning. So that makes sense. For a software engineering role though, especially if you're a sophomore, I would study a little bit of those data structures and algorithms. I wouldn't go past like leak code medium though. I would even say the easier mediums are fine. If you do like a quick like little search on Glassdoor about what EA typically asks in that 30 minute interview, that second one, even the technicals are not too bad compared to some of these other companies. Um, I've seen things on Glassdoor such as balancing parentheses. And if you don't know these problems, that's okay too. I'm not saying they're easy. I'm just saying that they are common problems in technical interviews. So if you don't know these problems, make sure you practice them. A lot of common problems that you can find on leak code, on cracking the coding interview, and all the resources listed in this video here. So that's basically the whole interview process. Once you're done with that second round, that's the last round and they've kind of determined whether they should make a hire decision or not. Now I wanna tell you guys a little bit about like the actual experience of the program, how it's structured, and my thoughts on working for EA as a Pathfinder intern. The first thing I wanna tell you guys about the EA Pathfinder program is to like and subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already. The first thing I actually want to tell you guys is EA is a pretty cool company. Like their main thing is games. They have a lot of fun stuff around. They have a lot of games around and they have a bunch of cool like statues and like game themed stuff. So like if you look here at this picture, you see me like sitting down with a not so great haircut next to a bunch of the Sims. But as far as the work goes, I found that it varied a lot. Um, since I was a freshman PM intern, a lot of my stuff was, I was in meetings a lot, I was learning about like scrum boards a lot, I was learning about like waterfall and agile methodologies. Um, I was learning a lot about like just the basics of being a PM. And that was a lot of the internship I found, a lot of learning. I did have an incredible mentor throughout the process. They give you a, both a mentor and a manager. Some people were more hands-on with their manager, some were more hands-on with their mentor. It really just depends on your specific manager and mentor that they assign you. I did find that I wanted to do a little bit of coding, so I did end up asking someone else on the team to help them with like this little chat bot that they had. Um, I don't want to go into specifics about it because I don't know if I'm allowed to, but it, it was basically like just programming a chat bot on like Discord type of thing. As far as like work-life balance goes, that was my best place for work-life balance out of my internships, which were EA, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, and Google again. EA definitely had the best work-life balance. Like you're expected to go home at a reasonable time. If you're not going home at a reasonable time, it's probably because you're in the office, office playing games. Um, it's kind of expected that you play a little bit of games during the day, especially as an intern. And the work just does not take up too much of your time, at least in my experience. So I've heard some other people say that like working for like the game studio teams can be a little bit more involved as you're like solving these harder C++ problems. But on the IT team, it wasn't too bad for me, especially like as a freshman PM intern. So more about like the internship itself, they have so many programs and talks like scheduled for the internship 
they had like an executive leadership talks where they like a bunch of the executive leaders will talk to the interns and EA doesn't have a crazy amount of interns like some other companies. Um, so it's really cool being able to be in a room like literally a few feet away from like the CEO. Like that is insane to me. Um, they also hosted a lot of cool events too, like really, really fun events. So like one of the events was, I don't know what it's called, but basically they put us all in big bubbles and we played soccer and we were able to like hit each other in the bubbles and you'd like fall down and be really hard to get up and all that stuff. And it was, it was just an incredible experience and a lot of fun there. This internship was in Redwood City, California. So it was a little hard to find housing in that area, kind of expensive. They don't cover housing, which kind of sucks because the area is very expensive. They do pay you okay. I will say that it's not great compared to other Bay Area companies, but that was also my freshman year. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like I had a lot of experience going in. I probably was not worth more than they paid me. For converting though, so if you're a Pathfinder and you're trying to convert to a full like suite internship or a full PM internship, that part was very interesting because it's mostly decided by your manager and the recruiters and it's highly negotiable for the pay and for the location. So it, as long as you do decently throughout the internship. Those are just some cool things to note um, if you're interested in this program. If you're also, if you're interested in this program and you wanna know anything else specific, please let me know in the comments below. I am really glad to help out wherever I can. Um, this program doesn't have as much publicity as some of the other freshman programs, so I really wanna make sure there's some good information out there and that if you're going through this program, you're clear about like the expectations. If you're debating between offers uh, and one of them is the EA Pathfinder program, I hope that I'm able to uh, help you make a decision there by letting you know what the program is like. Um, the, but like I said, the work itself was not too difficult, but you can make it substantial by taking side projects, by getting a good team um, and just helping out wherever you can. So. Just don't, like if you're in a situation where you feel like you don't have enough work, there is always more work to be done. <laughs> they will not hesitate to give you more work if you say, hey, I'd like to try this, or I'd like to try something out, or go up to someone else on your team and be like, hey, I saw, I heard you're working on this. Can I help you with anything? Oh, and the pay for this program was 24 an hour. Um, not great for the Bay Area, but again, I was a freshman. Um, my second year, I didn't actually end up signing the offer second time around, but I did get a return offer for Austin for 32 an hour. And I, that was negotiated up from, I believe 28. So that's basically the specifics for the EA Pathfinder internship. If there's anything else that I can let you guys know about, please let me know down below. Please, please, please don't hesitate to ask. This program is awesome, especially if you're just starting and you want to like just learn more. This is a great program. If you're a freshman, if you're a sophomore, you need to apply to this. It's a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. This one's a little bit of a shorter one because I'm in the middle of finals week and I feel like I was able to hit like the important information rather quickly throughout this video. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks guys, see ya.